Some people in the McCain campaign who thought that the selection of Sarah Palin was risky because they didn't believe that she had enough knowledgeability to carry it off. But early on, they began to discover that there were these gaps in her knowledge. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? She took a little bit of interview preparation before the Charlie Gibson ABC News interview, and by most accounts, that went fairly well. The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. No, the Bush doctrine. The but then the Katie Couric interview came, and for that, she refused interview preparation. Ultimately, what the bailout does is help those who are concerned about the health care reform that is needed to help shore up our economy, um, helping the... Oh, it's got to be all about job creation, too. And I just want to rattle off a couple of the things that insiders say she just simply didn't know. Uh, there were real problems with basic civics, government structures, municipal, state, and federal government responsibilities. She didn't know the, the nations involved in the North American Free Trade Agreement. She didn't understand, McCain aides told me today, that Africa was a continent and not a country. Yeah, All of these things right. caused great doubts. Okay. The problem is, I do feel for John McCain or, or the people in his campaign that talked him into picking Sarah Palin because I think that they knew she was under investigation for the firing of a state trooper. They knew she had a pregnancy. Injured, but what they did not know, as you know, one of the 50 governors, is that she couldn't, you know, name a newspaper that she read. What newspapers and magazines did you regularly read for this to stay informed and to understand? I've read most of them. What I mean, specifically? I'm curious that you. Um, all of them, any of them. Um, I have a a I have a vast variety of sources where we get our news to. And she didn't know her basic geography and stuff like this. That she didn't actually, she wasn't actually able to name all the countries in North America. They, they just couldn't have known that. I don't think that's the type of thing that you quiz someone on the phone about when you're vetting them for VP. What other Supreme Court decisions do you disagree with? Mm. Well, let's see. There's.